Hey. Made it. Cool. You should be um, co-host too. So that should give you like screen sharing and all the stuff. Awesome. I just let these people in. Okay. Yeah, and that, yeah, thank you for recording because we're gonna need it for people who couldn't make it. Hey, Colin. Yeah, that's no problem. I'll do um, I'll do the same thing like last time. I'll just make a YouTube link for the for the recording from tonight. Perfect. I'm just gonna grab my tea. I'll be right back. Hi, Donna. Hey, Myra. Hey, Colette. Just waiting to see if a couple more people show up and then get started. Okay. Well, let's see. Somebody's um somebody's like TV or something is going in the background. <laughs> it was you. Um yeah, like once we really start, Heather, the best to keep everybody on mute except for you, because otherwise it's feedback and it makes a recording kind of a pain. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um well, okay, there's more people come in, so I'll, I'll wait another minute and I'm trying to pull up some of the stuff I want to just screen share. So. Okay, that's good. Hey, Sunday. Hi. <clears throat> Heather, I have your, your CPAP machine ready to pick up or I can meet you downtown maybe. Okay. Um I'm I'm in town. You got your other your replacement? Yeah. Yay. Yay. Is it helping? Yeah. Good. Um, let's see. Um, Donna, I keep seeing you're saying connecting to audio. Can we hear you if you talk? Maybe not. <laughs> um, okay, well, I guess we're, we're, um, we should get started. Um, I think everybody knows maybe um, that I'm Heather. 
Um, and one of the board members of the co-op or the board president or something, whatever I am. Um, and I just thought this would be a helpful way for us to walk people through the ordering process for the co-op because I know it's pretty difficult. Um, there are some new developments that I'll share as well about like some possibilities that are coming up for ordering, but um, does everyone else wanna introduce themselves as well? And let me know um, if you have specific questions about ordering or even specific items that we can use as an example to show how to look it up today. Okay, uh, I'll go ahead and go. My name is Jenny Neely. Um, let's see, I work for New Mexico State University. I'm an ICANN nutrition educator. So if you ever need recipes or anything like that, please contact me. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely interested. I want to put an order in. There's a few items that I was going to order, but then I saw that you were going to um, have this Zoom meeting tonight on how to order. So I figured I'd wait and do this first to make sure that I did it right. Awesome. Yay, it's good to, to see your face. I know we've communicated a lot. So yes, I'm, and good to put a face with the name. Okay, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll go, I'll go next. Um, I'm Marlena. Um, I run Studio De La Luz here in town and, uh, got involved with the food co-op a few months ago. Um, and, uh, I'm, I'm excited for this. I think my biggest thing is, um, just like how to approach shopping from this list. Like I'm one person and, um, I don't really shop in bulk, you know, very often and stuff like that. So, um, it's not even, you know, for me, just, just the how to order process, it's kind of like a whole switching gears of my, of my shopping and, and how I'm approaching things. So, um, I'm just excited to, to just be here and chat and get, get all sorts of feedback from everybody. Cause I'm sure I'm not the only person, um, that's intimidated by like, you know, 20 pound bags of rice. <laughs> yeah. Um, who else can introduce themselves? Hey, everybody. I'm Yaro. My hands are all gooey. Um, I'm super excited Hi. to be here. I'm glad that the co-op is happening. I finally got 10 minutes to pop on um, and check it out. I've received the emails for the list. I haven't looked, but I had my own health food store, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to navigate it but I understand that there are quite a few lists. So I'm just eager to get a little more comfortable with it and kind of go through it with you guys so that when I'm doing it by myself, it'll be easier because I hoped to place orders the last two times and uh, couldn't get my shit together. So here I am. Hey, Yaro. Hi. So hi, I'm Sunday and I have a similar thing as these two other ladies, three, maybe everybody that I am only shopping for myself and one other person. So, um, but I do buy some things in bulk like cinnamon and rice. Like I already seek those out in bulk. So I feel like those must be things that I could find on there. But um, that list is like, it makes my brain do a thing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy to be here to like navigate, like learn how to navigate it and figure out how to actually like do it. Awesome. I can go next. Um, my name is Myra Vandy. Um, I love shopping at food co-ops. I think it would be a wonderful addition to the tier C community. I like to buy kind of strange things like millet flour and buckwheat flours and different things like that. And so uh, being able to buy it in bulk, um, it's just my husband and myself. So maybe with the more the merrier, there'll be someone to split it with, but I'm looking forward to being able to get some good wholesome foods and helping to uh, to get the co-op going. 
Yeah, thank you, Myra. Um, does anybody else want to introduce themselves or just talk about items that you are looking for or, or generally? Is there only bulk stuff? Is that why? Um, I guess okay. maybe I missed the very beginning. But um, are we going to go through the list together? What What are we doing I'm, today? Yeah, I'm going to go through some options, but there isn't just bulk. It's just... Um, We'd have to look it up case by case. For example, someone on the first order, the first official order ordered some homeopathics and they just had, they, all, they could get just one bottle. But other, it just depends on how it's available. Like some things are only available in cases. I was looking up olive oil for somebody today and it was, um, yeah, like, um, hopefully some of us are gonna split bulk things though, for example. Um, does anybody else have any specific questions or do we want to launch into a tour? Let's launch into a tour. Okay. All right. So I'm going to screen share then. And I'm set up to do that, right, Marlena? Okay. So, so yeah. Well, before, before we do that, actually, I just wanted to talk about a couple of things that we know because we do know a, that it's pretty hard to get these orders in. But I also feel like even though the first one or two times that you order, it might be like slogging through, finding these items and taking a while. And, and I am pretty good at navigating these lists and I'm very willing to help you find your things if you can't. Um, that once we have those item numbers, we don't have to look through 30,000 items again. We'll just be like, oh, you know, Sunday's ready for her rice again. Here's the item she got last time. She liked it. She's going to order it again a few months later or whatever, you know. Um, so there's that. Um, there is also that cooperative distribution center, which is the main source of our stuff, is making a website. And they've been, they've been making it for a year. And maybe Colin can speak to this because he's helping us with our website. But it sounds like they're probably getting close to launching a website. And I asked, is it going to be open to our members? And she said, yes. So I'm really hoping that means that we're gonna have a, a more user-friendly interface soon in order to just look things up. But I also think we can, we can handle this in the meanwhile and get our co-op going and get some good foods out here. Um, another thing that has changed is that we, when we first started talking to Cooperative Distribution Center, they were a weekly delivery every Tuesday. Then when we started talking to them right now, when we finally launched officially, they were weekly, but every other week was driven by New Mexico Harvest, which was a great source of produce and all local produce um, from, um, and other local products, like local meaning the state of New Mexico. Now, New Mexico Harvest is not driving for them, and it seems like we may be on an every other week schedule um, for the, the frequency of being able to get the truck down here if we meet our minimum. Um, however, I don't think they care that much if we meet our minimum, so because they're already passing through. Um, and yeah, and just to emphasize the fact that uh, my neighbor was like, I want a gallon of olive oil. And I'm like, okay, I, I look through the whole list and there is four gallons to a case that you can get. There's a like almost five gallon giant bottle that people could share out among themselves. And I'm ready to share that with her, for example, if anyone else wants in on that. So I'm hoping that we're gonna do a lot of that stuff um, because the price is when you get something like olive oil, which is a really expensive item in our grocery carts normally, the price is incredibly lower when you get it in bulk. Um, so it should it should balance out for people who are a little like, eh, I don't need that much olive oil. Um, okay, so that said, I'm gonna share my screen and show you, I'm just walk you through um, you know, um, Everybody here has gotten the email that is the buying club buying guide, I'm assuming. 
Um, so I'm going to start there. So here's well, uh, kind of. Will you tell us where to go? The dot dot. I can't find mine. Um, it should it. You would have gotten it emailed to you if you requested it, Yarrow. I don't know if you did. Yes, I did request it and I did receive it and I can't find it in my email list. Is there a way okay. that you can tell me how to go there or do I need to have the link? Um, this isn't a link thing. This is an email only. So I'm going to I'm going to send it to you again. So it's in your inbox right now. Okay, thank you. Would that help you? But I mean, you can also just watch me do it right now. Which, what do I, okay. Yeah, I have your email. Everybody has your email now. <laughs> Okay, so in touch. Absolutely. I'll help people do this after I after I navigate it. I'm happy yeah. to help everybody. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. So so can everybody see like this is the bottom of the, the email that has the buying guide and with all of the attachments. Does everybody see that on my screen? Does that come up? I see. So, okay, so we have the CDC bulk order guide. So CDC is Cooperative Distribution Center, and this is the warehouse in Albuquerque that is um uh our distrib our distributor and so almost all of these attachments are their things that they keep in their warehouse from various sources that are not united natural foods um and then they have in the bottom row we have the central milling list which is a once a month order so if we don't catch it before they order you might not get it for a month or more and they have some really great flowers that people are really excited about um Beelers and Marys, I honestly haven't even looked through these yet, but we can look through them together. I think they're just other smaller distributors that they're using. I think the Marys is all the chicken and stuff like that. And then the final one is the UNFI list. And this is the 30,000 item list. Um, so I'm gonna start with just showing you guys like the CDC, the bulk order guide has these bulk items. If you're, if you're in these, attachments these the cdc lists one thing to note is that some of them have a tab at the bottom so you might click on it and i'll show you when that does because this one doesn't seem to um you might click on it and and it'll just say some stuff and it doesn't have a list of items but this is a this is just the bulk things that cdc carries so they have a separate spreadsheet for each topic so this one has like 25 pounds of pinto beans here at the top Anasazi beans, 50 pounds, um, lentils, then there's like coffee, there's, there's a big bunch of like five pound things of coffee, coffee, more coffee, um, polenta in 25 pounds, flour, um, and some of these are like just like straight from Colorado or something like Mountain Mama, I believe. Um, and it's organic, which is nice. Um, is, there so this, way, is there a way to know how it's shipped? Like, is it just one giant bag? It's one of those big bags, like kind of like a chicken feed bag, but like a big. Okay. I, I wish I was at home. I could just pull one out for you and show you. Um, but it's probably, it's usually going to be like a big kind of paper bag and the top sewn shut. And I I have five gallon food grade buckets that I put my bulk items in. And they fit in the they they'll fit fit in a five gallon bucket typically, opposed to these 25 pounders. I don't know what people do with the 50 pounders because I don't do flowers and stuff. Um okay. so but the other thing they have is the 35 pound olive oil, the organic, which and so what the next thing you want to know about these lists as we're looking at this bulk, oh, look, bulk maple syrup, five gallons for 300 bucks. <laughs> Sounds exciting. Um, is that you, when you, the price that you see is the wholesale price to us. And so the co op's going to mark that up by 10%, which if you're wondering if that's a good price, and I'm, Yarrow can attest to this, a, a grocery store is going to mark it up by 50% at least to sell it to you in the grocery department. So you're getting it at close to wholesale pricing. We're just taking a little bit for the co-op and, and also because we have to pay gross receipts taxes on it. Um, so if you see it a, a price, the easiest way to know what it's gonna cost you is to multiply it by 1.1. 1. 1. 
and that's our current markup. So, so that's the bulk list. And then the CDC has all these other ones like the cheese order guide, which Sunday, I know you're interested in the cheese. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I don't know if they have the goat that you asked for. They have the two carry cheeses, which is a local cheese company. So again, like this is, if you wanted to get this Parmesan, it would be 12 eight ounce packages or um, a six pound thing of crumbly gorgonzola wedges or um, six pounds of, yeah. Uh, let's see, the Tucum carries are five pounders or 40 pounders. Oh, there's a 28 pounder of all these different cheeses. Um, and so that's something like, if there are enough people that want some local Monterey Jack, we can cut it up at our distribution site and we'll have scales there. And, you know, one member can pay the co-op and, or all the members can pay the co-op if we divide it up right then and there, like traditional buying stuff, buying club style. Um, so, oh, Chev, there's Chev Sunday. Yeah, Jason. I'm looking at that. Um, okay, it's a lot of Chev. Um, I don't know if it trades as well or if anybody else wants it. So, so again, so each list is different. So this is the, the cheese list. Um, and those ones are pretty easy to go through and just look at your items. Um, so there's the dairy, dairy frozen. See, this one comes up like this. Does everybody see how that it's just instructions? So you go down to the bottom and it says sheet one, sheet two, and that's where you're gonna find the actual product. So I clicked on this little tab down at the bottom and found sheet two. I don't know why some of them come up like that, but a lot of people have been like, uh, there's nothing there. It's because we have to click on these little tabs. Um, so yeah, so more like this is organic Valley dairy. So I, don't, I guess the cheese list is local cheese and the dairy slash frozen is like their warehouse organic valley that they must get direct and not through UNFI. Um, Friana yogurt, snowpack organic peas in a 12, 10 ounce case or uh, yeah, some different Woodstock farm frozen fruits, the, the Big Bees apple juice, which is a Southern Colorado product. Um, so con it's considered local by the CDC because it's within, I think, think their radius is two or 300 miles from Albuquerque. Um, and then I guess I'm tapping on sheet two to see what's there. Um, and we've got some kombucha, hemp CBD, kombucha, prickly pear. Oh, that's exciting. But they're, they're also in cases it looks like. Um, so got that and then we have the food service guide. So they actually have food service products like um, the, the bulk bags again, but I think they have some other interesting things like giant things of mustard and stuff like that for hopefully we can get some of our local restaurants into it. Um, it looks like this food service list is a little bit of a repeat though, because it has some of the coffees. It's got some 25 pound organic cornmeal from Santa Ana Pueblo, um, flowers. Yeah, I don't honestly understand why this is on the food service list, but it's not on the bulk list because it looks just like a lot of the same things. But oh, like, see, they have a big five pound thing of, of uh, baking powder, aluminum free baking, baking powder or sea salt or things like that that aren't on the first list. So. Um, that's the food service list. Yeah, this is like repeating a lot of the things on the other lists. Good to know. Um, and then the grocery guide has, this is another one that you need to tap the sheet one thing to get to what you want, but it, uh, it has some coconut water and more of that Big B's apple juice. Um, San Pellegrino's, those little yummy sodas. Um, Nopales, prickly pear cactus. Wow. Um, there's ghee. This is kind of a random list, I'm going to say. But there, these things, 
the cool thing about the CDC list is that if um, these things we can ask for a lot closer to delivery day and get them, whereas if it's from the UNFI list, we definitely have to get it in um, to by by Wednesday in order to get it on Tuesday because it's coming from their Denver warehouse. Um, so we're navigating all these little lists. They have a meat list and these are local meats like the sweet grass beef, grass fed beef. Um, and they just have it by the pound, it looks like. Or it's just, yeah, face pack one pound. So that's not bad. You only have to buy one pound. You don't have to get a huge amount of it. Or maybe this is the price per pound. If anybody wants to know, I can just ask our warehouse lady about the, the meats. Because I I can't tell here if this means you can get one pound or if you have to get a large amount because it's just saying per pound. Um, yeah, so they have some different Northern New Mexico meat companies. Then they have like organic prairie ground turkey, which is not a local product. Um, okay, so so with the 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 big thing that I want to get across, or one of them, hey, Hazel, would you turn on the light in here? Because it's not there. Um, is is the the list that says copy of July underscore December is is and it says biannual. That's our um, United Natural Foods UNFI list. And here's the the trick with that is if you have like Microsoft Office or something like that, if you have like the Microsoft Suite, you can download that list and you can use the search feature to, um, to look for whatever you want. Um, if you don't have that, it's, it's nearly impossible to navigate the list, I'm gonna say. Um, um, but it's possible and we have some, we've figured out things like that the bulk items are from line zero to line, you know, like, I don't remember 300 or something and we can help by offering people that but if you if you want us to look it up for you just let us do that i'm gonna pull up um the can you guys see this spreadsheet no we still see the email oh okay you were you guys able to look at the other spreadsheets that I was sharing? Yeah, we were looking at everything else, but right now we're still just looking at the page with all the email oh, okay. attachments. Okay. okay, I just need to figure out how to screen share again. Um, let's see. Um, I'm gonna stop this share, I guess, and then I can screen share again. Yeah, there's like, sometimes like it'll give you different options like to share a specific page or just to share everything. So I think it depends on what you choose. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna screen share the, the, that UNFI list, which I think is the most intimidating thing oh, to order you're, from. You're on it now, you're good. Okay, okay so, so on this list, this is the, the, bi the one that says biannual. Um, the easiest way I've found is to use this find and select this little magnifying glass tool. But again, if you don't have Microsoft, if you try to like upload it into your Google Docs or anything like that, it's not quite as easy to do this. So you click find and then you could type in like, does somebody wanna say an example of like their favorite brand of something that they've been looking for? A new one? No. Um, Look for some turbinado sugar. Okay, so let's put the word turbinado in. Let's see what happens. And then 
do find next. I mean, it's a tool that they have for editing, but it works to just find stuff. So find next. So the first one is dark chocolate, sea salt, turbinado. So keep going, find next, sugar, turbinado. The next option is a five pound that, let's see, it's, it says it's available in eaches. Do you see this column that's highlighted right now, how it says EA for each? So, and I mean, above it is sugar in 50 pounds, but here's some turbinado sugar in a five pound bag that looks like the price for that five pounds is 14.57. And it, um, it may be a case of five pound, separate pound bags because they have the wholesale and the retail price, but this is the wholesale case cost. Um, and so what we would be doing when we're ordering is we, we need to um, grab these item numbers here. So we would highlight this one if we wanted this five pound bag or just um, and like copy it. And just click copy and then just, I would just put it over, like I'd click over to my email and put it in the email. Um, I'm gonna say find next to see Here's another natural cane turbinado, and these are, looks like these are little sugar packets because it's eight 100 count. Um, and then if I say find next again, raw cane turbinado pouch, and that's a case and you have to buy a case if you can see this field here. Um, so it would be, you'd have to buy a case of 12 1.5 pound bags and it would be 61 plus our 10% markup. So Heather, if, if somebody, you know, wanted to buy that and they were going to buy that regularly and they were going to kind of make their own list by, you know, going through UNFI and seeing this over here on the far left, giving like that 416 over there, um, would that help you to kind of navigate? Cause it, it goes numerical, right? All the way yeah. down. Yeah, good call. Yeah, totally. Because it's on line 416 and then up in this field up here, I think is what you're talking about, that it says F416. I think that would be helpful. What, what I noticed, even since Myra, you and Paula and I went through the list last year is that things have moved. Because So it's not guaranteed that as they update the list, it'll be in the exact same place, but it should be in a pretty similar place. So if you didn't have that um, but once you've ordered it for the first time, you don't really have to come. Well, you probably would want to come back to the list to find out what it costs, I guess, in case the cost had changed. Um, and as and what we're seeing is that prices are going up, like several items had changed between when our first order between like Thursday and Tuesday, right? Like they, they it wasn't by a lot. And one of them like maybe even went down but in general in the world right now, prices are going up. So I guess it would be good to, to know what you're committing to. Um, so I'm gonna say, if you don't have Microsoft, please don't be shy about emailing. Suzanne, did you have a question? Yeah, um, <clears throat> if I'm ordering off of a list of things that have been emailed to me once, how, how am I going to get price increases? Um, I believe most of the documents are like because they're in Google Docs, I think they're updated whenever they update them. However, it it doesn't mean that even between ordering and delivery that the price can't change is what I'm noticing. Okay, thanks. But yeah, I think that they do update. I'm not, if you downloaded the Excel spreadsheet, no, it, it wouldn't update because you've downloaded it. Um, but the, the idea with these, this list having the dates on it is that these dates are good for that, that date span. And then they would, in theory, send us a new one. So is that how we're supposed to order? Just email you? So right now, yeah. So in the... I'm going to stop this share. Does everybody, does anybody have any questions about using this huge 30,000 item list before I go over like how to actually do the order? Uh, 
I'm going to pretend that I'm going to order this, this turbinado sugar, then I'm going to highlight the line and see what happens. Um, I don't really need the retail price, so I just went up to the whole the wholesale for the whole thing, and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to stop this share here. And then I'm going to share again the email. So in this email that we sent out, um, can everyone see this little grid that's in the email? Yeah, we're good. Okay. So, so the thing that I need in the email, whether it's put into a grid like this or just listed is what price list you got it from. So did you get it from the CDC bulk buying guide or did you get it from the, the big UNFI guide? And then there should be some kind of item number and then a description. So, um, you know, like turbinado sugar, five pounds or whatever, and then the unit size. So, so the reason it says item code here and item number here is that I believe it's the CDC list has um, an item code and the UNFI list has an item number. I don't think it matters that much. Um, and then the price, we like much prefer if you calculated your price out. So in these instructions here, you will like generally you're going to find your items, number one in the list. Number two, multiply the wholesale price by 1.1 to see what it will cost with the current 10% markup. Number three, you'll email us the following information. Just send it to the Brickley Pair or to the TRC co-op email. Um, and then watch for a response regarding delivery day and time. So which is usually Tuesday mornings, but say you sent this request on a Friday, um, we can let you know like, oh, you, you actually made it in. We were able to submit this in time or no, you didn't. It's going to not come this coming Tuesday, but in a week or possibly two weeks. We'll see how that, that works now. Um, and then the final thing is that you need to meet us on the delivery day with um, at this point, cash or check to pay for your items. And then we do, when we meet on the delivery day, we need to unload the stuff. We need to look at the invoice and see if, what the prices are and then add up the totals and then you get to pay for them. And we're, I think that they're gonna do a little better at not missing items like they did at the first delivery because of this change in the trucking, but we definitely need to check that everything's there because even, they even invoiced us for items that they didn't grab this last time and we had to adjust that. Um, and that is generally as much information. I don't know, does anybody have any, can think of any other questions or have any other examples of things that we wanna find if we have them? I just want to ask a clarifying question about the website that's being built. It'll have a search function and also the ability to like join a case of something, if that makes sense. Maybe. That would be really cool. I don't, uh, I think that our best way of doing cases right now, I mean, and maybe in the future they will have that. I, they're not really getting, giving too many details about the website that they're building. Hmm. Um, but I said, is it going to be more easily navigable than these lists? And she said, yes, absolutely. Um, I think that we um, need to come up with our own system for, for making cases, whether it's posting in the Facebook group, asking us to email out, you know, like, I don't, I don't know how to do it. I don't wanna spam our entire list to say, does anybody want a gallon of olive oil? Yeah, um, I, I don't want to do that either. I know. Yeah, There's got to be so a better way. Maybe the people who are currently in on an order or something like that. On the screen is an example of a, like a sample order and how it's arranged. And you can see like I, we changed it to the CDC code um, because they have a code and an item number. But the 
the, not all lists have everything on it. Hey, Heather, could we maybe add like our own Google Doc to this buying guide that's like the prickly pear Google Doc? So like I could go on and say, like, I want olive oil, right? And I could copy and paste my item on there. And then if anybody else wants, like, so our members when they're shopping could also go to like that list and you're looking at all the buying guides and see like, this is what our co-op is currently looking to like fulfill, you know, like I want to get olive oil, but I only want a gallon, you know, who else wants these other four and, and maybe run it something like that since everything else kind of exists in this Google doc world. And that's where people are going to be going to, to order. That sounds cool. I, I would be concerned that if somebody wasn't tech savvy that they'd accidentally delete someone else's order. I mean, or even yeah, if they are tech not, savvy. Yeah, it's definitely not like foolproof, but I know like but not what, everybody's what on Facebook had, and you know. What if we had one that was just for the case sharing? So it's not the, the final order. Yeah, it wouldn't be an order. It would just be for case sharing. Yeah, I love that idea. Just Just kind of like a, like a, like a message board almost, but like with all the other Google Docs since it's in one place for everybody. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a great idea. Then if you're yeah. looking at a bulk item that you're like, oh, I wish it came more small, you would check yeah. the bulk yeah. item, the, the case sharing doc. Right, and, right. To see if, yeah. If anybody wants to get in on that. I love that idea. And then I think we could also just create a blank, one of these spreadsheets if people want to use the spreadsheet format to send their order to us. It's pretty easy to even cut and paste this into an email. Mm. Um, but I want to make sure that people who can't do that have as few obstacles because it's we're already reformatting the order when we do it. So it's no big deal to, to grab it in a typed typewritten form or whatever. Right. Or again, even a phone call or um, yeah, any other way we, we can put it in there for you. Um, I love that idea. I, the, I have one last thing to, to let people know about. The one thing that we're having trouble with is, I mean, I shouldn't say the one thing we're doing, we're, we're doing lots of learning and, and growing. <laughs> Um, we are, we're having a, an issue with fresh produce. Like we don't really have, even the CDC at one point had fresh produce and didn't. And now that New Mexico harvest, which was the every other week ordering, um, or the other, every other week truck that was coming and bringing the CDC items and their own items, they're not going to be doing it right now that that company is just having a hard time making end, ends meet. Um, but we do believe that they still offer their produce bags and that they might be able to throw them on the CDC truck. So it would be a thing that really wouldn't um, necessarily help the co-op financially, but it would help the co-op by just have providing something to the membership. So what I my contacts there are trying to to figure it out, but we'll be announcing that soon if we if you can do if you can add your order to New Mexico Harvest, which has a really easy shopping website, and then you basically get your little insulated blue bag. So it it would replace Scarsguard for people who are ordering from Scarsguard. And the cool thing about New Mexico Harvest is that you can use EBT cards. So you could, we local people could be ordering their little um, weekly bags from them and it's mostly produce. They have a few items like they carry the teas that I make, for example, but um, you'd be able to get on an easy to order from website and meet us on truck day and get your blue bag and you will have prepaid for it. Could you um, clarify what the produce bag is? Uh, do you still get to pick what goes in that bag or is it a different bag of stuff every time you order or what? Um, they have both. 
they, you can be the person that just, just like, yeah, whatever the weekly bag is, I pay my 40 bucks or whatever. I can't remember how much it is. And you get the weekly bag or you can get on the website and pick and choose. And then it's priced according to what you picked and chose. Um, and again, we're not sure that they're gonna be able to deliver here, um, but we're, we're finding out. Hopefully, the, it, if their trucks can't make it down here right now, they can throw it on the CDC truck because they had been working together cooperatively up until now. So if you were to order from New Mexico Harvest, um, you know, on their website uh, and, it, and it were to come down, you would pay for it on their website. So that would be a totally separate thing. We wouldn't have to uh, even be concerned with that as far as the co-op uh, collecting the money. Is that right? Yeah, we don't, we, we wouldn't have anything to do with it other than just like, hey, the way that, the only way I can see it actually benefiting the co-op is A, we're not, we have something to give people who are wanting produce because we have nothing right now other than trying to encourage local like like Myra's great idea of having the the community garden people come and bring produce um and yeah so they're going to show up at, at the distribution day so maybe they'll be like well I may as well also order some brown rice <laughs> that's what I would hope that that cooperation would would bring Um, that was, um, yeah, so anybody have any other questions or thoughts or specific products that they're looking for trying to make the, the leap? What was that, Yara? I, it's just rice I'm cooking. I, oh, I thought you were saying like this, oh. I want this. <laughs> when is your order deadline? What, what's, what is the deadline? So the, the deadline is to get it to us in, in the email by Wednesday in order to receive it by, Tuesday, by the following Tuesday. And so today is Tuesday and yep. I believe, yep. let me double check, but I believe this is an on week for them coming, like, because we're on the every other week. Let me just check my email real quick because I like I'm I believe you could order tomorrow and if you want to give me a call Yarrow we can figure it out um let me double check scheduling to your deliveries is there a time yeah um so they will not be delivering wait New Mexico Harvest will not be delivering beginning February 1st um No, so I think it means that they that CDC will be delivering next week, but then not the following week. Um, but let me double check with her. I'll, I'll send her an email right now while, while we're talking. But as I understand it right now, they're going to every other week. So it would be, I think this week for next week and then not for two weeks. Is there a time on Wednesday that the order needs to be in by is what I mean? Oh. Well, it's just basically it's me formatting your order and getting it sent in by the next morning. Um, so I would prefer that you got it in by um, just by the end of day because I can format it on Thursday morning. Yeah. Let's say 8 p.m. Let's say by 8 p.m. Wednesday. Perfect. <laughs> but hopefully um, we'll get other people up to speed on how to do it so that we can maybe take turns or something. Um, I was gonna ask about like dairy stuff. That's probably more perishable is that possible to order now or no yeah um yeah they have like all the or like on the cheese list and the organic valley list it, well, it was like the grocery list had the organic valley on it for some reason huh. but um yeah it's 
but it doesn't seem like it's coming in small quantities. So it'd have to be. Oh. But we'd, we'd have to check individually if you had, do you have a specific thing that you're after? It's probably not on the list, but um, I think there's that like raw milk that's local to Smith or something like that. Yeah, so the oh, Smith no. question is a big question because yeah. Albuquerque has a no raw milk rule for the city of Albuquerque. So the truck, oh yeah, Jessica, you, you, you and I were talking about this. Um, the truck can't, I don't know, they can't sell it in Albuquerque, but I've asked her, so does that, but you do, you could sell it in tier C because we don't have a no raw milk rule, but I don't even know if they're allowed to transport it because they're out of Albuquerque. But uh, Jessica, what, what were we figuring out about that? I can't remember it. Like it, it comes from where again? It comes from um, Bosky Farms and they go to cruces so it's like we're just right there on the way i'm actually going to reach out to them and ask them if they would consider stopping here because we don't have that law here yeah oh right so they drive their own milk down to las cruces so we, mm -hmm. we should just bypass the cdc altogether collins and mm -hmm. uh alan gordo right right did you oh. used to get it at the co-op in las cruces yeah, I think they sold a two can sometimes, but it's not always there. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty expensive. But. Well, um, Jessica, we'll figure it out. She's gonna get raw milk for the masses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would definitely be into that if we could get it here. Yeah, because they said they told some one of our members asked about it and said they told her that they would only bring it to us if we had like 30 gallons or something crazy like that and it's like but if they're already driving past why can't they just bring us five or ten or whatever people want <laughs> um anybody else have any other questions Um, well, I think for in the interest of kind of having this recording be short-ish so that we can send it to the people who couldn't make it, we should wrap it up. But if you email the TRC co-op at gmail.com with your requests or orders or requests for help looking things up, I even just like the, the CDC themselves is also willing, like I just sent them a question for another member because I went through the list and couldn't find it for them. And so then the CDC will look it up. So don't be shy about doing that, especially as we're getting rolling here and, and it's so kind of unwieldy to go through these lists. Um, hopefully we have, the CDC has a website for us to order through soon. Colin is helping us build our own website, but we're going to hold off on doing the really difficult job of, of putting all those products in there until we, um, unless we absolutely have no other options. Right. Hopefully they're that with their much grander resources up north, they're going to make us a website that's going to work and make it a little less difficult for our members. Right. But for now, please email. Um, and if you want to talk on the phone, just email me your phone number. And some people already have my phone number and do it from there. Okay. Hey, Colette, did you have a question? You're just saying bye. Okay. I'll talk to you. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Bye. 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 Yeah. Um, just send me the link when you have the recording, Marlena, and I'll send it out to the, I'll send it out to our whole email list. Okay, sounds good. All right, thanks. You got it. Bye. 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 Bye.